Well, yeah. I mean, as a uh, as kind of a side note, you know, talking about how his sister just got life in prison. On the way here, I actually got an alert that Praz, formerly of the Fugees, was found guilty on all ten counts. He's facing twenty years. Twenty years. Okay, so. Okay. The, the the headline I got from Vlad TV was because you know I have the Vlad TV uh, app and I uh, as you should and I subscribe yeah. monthly to Vlad TV so I can get all these kind of alerts. It says that he was an informant for the FBI. Okay, so here's here's the whole story. Okay, here's here here's the whole story. Tell me the story. Tell, I'll him. tell you the story. I know. Pros. Turn these cameras around. No, go ahead. <laughs> I know Praz. I've known him for some years. I have done two interviews with him, one at our studio in New York, one at his uh, apartment in Beverly Hills. He's also been to my house. Mm -hmm. uh, and we've kept in contact. Cool guy. You know, he rolled up in his Phantom, you know, and he came to Calabasas. I got nothing negative to say about him whatsoever, whatsoever. Uh, you know, we talked about the whole thing of the donation to Obama during our interview. He was like, he didn't even know how I knew that. But, you know, <laughs> it was public knowledge. Right. And so forth. So essentially what happened was there was this guy that was funneling, well, he had stolen billions of dollars from the Malaysian government. Billions. And he was essentially just funneling the money through Hollywood and everything else like that. This guy financed... Uh, the Wolf of Wall Street movie. Mm. He gave Leonardo DiCaprio a Picasso <laughs> for payment, which Leonardo had to give back. Wow. Yeah. Uh, I think he gave uh, Kim Kardashian a Ferrari or something and Paris Hilton. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And essentially, according to the report, he was giving a bunch of money to Praz for Praz, you know, for like the Obama thing. And then he was, Praz was trying to get uh, Trump to like, you know, uh, stop the extradition of this other Chinese guy and so forth. And uh, he was, he was, he paid him millions of dollars for Praz to get a photo with Obama. Uh, a bunch of crazy shit was happening in that regard, right? So then when this guy got caught, this guy is now in hiding somewhere. He's actually, that other guy, you know, the main guy is actually on trial, but no one could find him. So Praz is the only one that showed up to court. You see, you see how bad this is already? Yeah. You see how bad this is already, right? Somebody was going to catch it. Someone was going to catch it. And what's interesting, and I was reading this in the reports recently, me and Praz talked last year. And, you know, I was basically like, yo, man, are you, I'm hearing this shit. Are you cool? Like, are you facing any prison time? And he's like, no, no, no. Like, it's just a matter of right now, it's just a negotiation about how much money they take. And he's trying to keep as much money as he can. And they're trying to take as much money as, as, as they can. And so he's like, oh, yeah, you know, it's, it's no, uh, I'm good. I'm good. It's just a matter of how much money I get to keep after all this. And, and I've read that as well. That, that he had an offer on the table, a plea deal, where he gave back most of the money and there was no criminal charges. Praz turned down that plea deal. And when he did that, a superseding federal indictment came in where suddenly he had all these criminal charges like bank fraud and being an unauthorized agent for the Chinese government and, and all this you know money laundering and everything else like that. And he was facing 20 years. And just today, he was found guilty in all 10 counts. He took the stand himself, which is kind of rare in a case like this. But he just tried to say that, oh, you know, I had no idea. And now to answer your question, I guess at one point when everything starts kind of coming down, Praz said that he went to the feds himself and basically said, hey, you know, I'm just I'm going to cooperate against this guy because it seems like some of the stuff is not really matching up and so forth. You know what I'm saying? So he offered his own, you know, his cooperation to the feds, probably knowing what's about to come down the line, showing like a, an act of good faith. 
it's not like Praz was a fed in the Fugees and <laughs> busting rappers and everything else <laughs> like that because that's kind of what um what's his name um academics well no th- th- this this is what uh uh Kyrie said Kyrie actually had a tweet. Let me actually pull this up. Kyrie tweeted uh, just the other day. He said, a whole FBI informant was in the Fuji's that long. Got me wondering how many more informants are in entertainment, media, politics, silently, de- silently destroying revolutionary movements from the inside. No matter what, I got to no matter what, I got to stay poised and aware of who I am around. Now I see why Miss Lauren Hill and countless others had to retire or disappear from their craft without anyone understanding why. So y'all, so all of the revolutionary revolutionary elders and ancestors who saw the writing on the wall and got free. We need you now more than ever. So, 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 so Kyrie's trying to make it look like, well, he's not, if he read the same title I read yeah, and the way it's presented, which we know, um, clout bait is one thing yes. to say that he's a federal informant when that's the title they put on Vlad, but to then to have him, Walking in the Fed saying he worked with us. Yes. Right? They didn't say in what capacity. Yeah. Uh, they didn't say just for you to try to help us find this guy who took money from Malaysia. Yeah. It was like literally the guy took like, what, $3 billion. Oh. Uh-huh. It, it was, you know, like I said, and I don't even know if that guy's still alive. $3 billion is an amount that people don't just overlook. You know, he might be in a ditch somewhere. Yeah, but if three million dollars, you can three billion, three billion, you can make a ditch. You can make your own ditch. You can make a ditch. You can change your color. You can. <laughs> he, he can. He Have can an entertainment make, system in your ditch. He yeah. can be taller. <laughs> he can get new eyes put in. I'm telling you, there's a lot he could get. Have a whole new body. Yeah. Yeah. He it's, can become like, a whole new person. 